Hello everyone. We will continue the topic function module. And in the previous videos, we created the function module for sum of two numbers. We call the function module inside a program through pattern button. We understood the full flow in that debugging mode. Now we will proceed further. Now we will make use of exception tab of the function module. How we can you make use of exceptions tab of the function module. When we covered the topic theory part of the function module, we discussed the purpose of exception tab is to raise or I can say is to raise the error or exception. Now what we will do, we will take a requirement. What is the requirement? If any of the input is zero, we will raise a exception. Else part, we will make sum. It means whenever you are making sum of two numbers, any of the input cannot be zero. So what we will do? I will go to exception tab. And I will give some name to the exception first. Suppose I am saying not underscore zero. You can give any exception name. It is totally, totally your wish. I am giving the short text. Suppose inputs cannot be zero. Now I will go to source code tab of the function module. Now you can see previously we have only importing exporting. Now exception is also coming. I will write the logic. If P input one is equal to zero or yes, we need to go for or because what is our requirement? If any of the input is zero or p input 2 is 0, we will raise the exception. We will raise this exception. So what is the keyword to raise the exception? Raise. What is the name of exception? Not underscore 0. This is the name of the exception which we gave. Now, else part, we will make some. Because if exception raised, we will not make sum at that point of time. Else part, we will make sum. For every if, there is a end if. If any of the input is zero, this particular exception will raise. And in the else part, we are making sum of two numbers. I will apply pretty printer. I will check the syntax and activate the function module. So we added one exception also to the function module using exception tab name of the exception is not underscore zero. Now we will run the function module and check the result. I'm running the function module independently. Suppose first input 20, second input 0. Exception should raise. And you can see exception is raised. Suppose first input is 0, second input is 10. Exception should raise. Yes, exception is raised. Suppose both inputs are 0. Exception should raise. Yes, exception should raise. Now, if any of the input is not zero, both inputs are not equal to zero. Both inputs are not zero. If I will go to execute, now you can see exception did not raise. We got the result. So our function module is perfectly, perfectly working fine. But customer will run the program customer will not run the function module customer will run this particular program only program only now we created the function module 
we called the function module inside the program now after that we added the exception part to the function module and you can see exception part will not come automatically here we need to do we need to call that exception part we need to call the function module again through the pattern button we created the function module we called the function module now you are adding the things to the function module how those things will come automatically here it will not come automatically here we need to call the function module again maximum time people are comfortable they will manually add the code also but i will always always suggest whenever you are adding the extra things to the function module in any of these tabs always always call through pattern again so we added one exception to the function module so we need to call this function module again through the pattern button suppose if i will call again through pattern button i will go to pattern i will go for call function i will pass the name of the function module this is the name of the function module and have you seen exceptions came automatically previously it was not there because you called the function module without the exception now we added the exception to the function module and we called again through pattern button and you can say exception came automatically and now you can see the most most important understanding exception name always always starts with what one one now the question comes why why the numbers of the error or number of the exceptions are starting with one it's a simple simple understanding what is zero zero is for successful if you are giving exception or error it should be not equal to zero that's why the exception numbers are always always starting with one and sap gave automatically suppose if we have one more exception that exception number will be 2 if we have one more exception exception number will be 3 and others will be automatically took the last number of the exception suppose as of now we have only one exception so others is 2 if we have two exception others will automatically become 3 if we have three exceptions others will automatically take 4 now first input we will give in front of this first parameter of the function module second input we will give in front of second parameter of the function module we will uncomment this part and now i will give the output what is this output lv underscore output now i will delete this part because we again called now we will check the syntax and activate so how this program will work if any of the input is zero the control will go inside this function module it will raise the exception whenever exception will raised whenever exception will raised what will be the exception number it will be not equal to 0 you all know this is not equal to symbol this is not equal to symbol now we will give a message we will give a message because we need to give a message to the user that input cannot be 0 and you know very very well we should always always give the message with the help of message class never never write or never never hard code the message into one language so i will go to sc91 transaction code this is the message class which we created 
and I will give some message now. Suppose I will say inputs cannot be zero. I will save this message class. Never, never forget to save the message class. And what is the message number? 003. If psi sub rc is not equal to zero, we will give a message. Suppose I'm saying message. You all know message is the keyword to give a message. Suppose message type is error. What is message number? 003. And in the bracket, we have message class. This part is fully explained in a in a ABAP programming playlist where I fully explain the topic message class. If you have some doubts, you can refer that message class. Now, if size sub RC is not equal to zero, it will raise this message. If size sub RC is not equal to zero, in the else part, we will display the result. Yes, if size sub RC is not equal to zero, we should not display anything. If size sub RC is zero, we should display the result. We will check the syntax and we will activate an important understanding. So what we studied in this particular video, in this video, we studied the exception tab of the function module. We, we provided one exception in the exception tab of the function module. And what is our requirement? None of the input cannot be zero. So we gave some exception. We have written the logic. If any of the input is zero, how we raise the exception using which particular keyword raise, raise, raise is the keyword to raise the exception. Now, you added the exception later to the function module. So we call the function module again through the pattern button. So exception came automatically. And the exception number always starts with one because zero means it does it zero means no error. It is successful. If some error or exception is there, it means it is not equal to zero. So exception number always starts with one. So we have a size sub RC not equal to zero. It means we will give the message. We created one message through message class. If size sub RC is equal to zero, we'll simply, simply display the result. Now, in the next video, we will fully, fully understand this in the debugging mode. So that's it in this video. Thank you.